snack machine. Look at this. We have all kinds of snacks for all kinds of creatures. We have grapes. Grapes. Carrots. Carrots. Watermelon. <laughs> oh. Watermelon. Celery. Hey, you know who loves celery? Yeah, Sabu. Sabu Mafu. Sabu. Zabu? We've been calling him forever. I don't know. Do you see Zabu anywhere? Ooh. Zabu! Chris, look up! <laughs> hey, Zab. You're a pretty sneaky lemur, buddy. Zabu. I'll get Zabu a snack. Celery! Zabu, how about celery? <laughs> Here, have this one. Chris, you want a piece? Yeah. There you go. And I'm gonna have a piece too. Excuse me. Zabu Mafu! <laughs> you all filled up, Zab? Yeah, I'm Vuki. Celery feels good in my belly. <laughs> Whoa! I'm sitting on top of Snack Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these snacks will last a long time. That's because in Animal Junction, there's a snack for every animal visitor. Pass it over. <laughs> and an animal visitor for every snack. Hey, Zob, toss one in. This one's going right down the hatch. <laughs> the toucan's hatch! <laughs> Eat up, toucan. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> Nice shot, Zob. Thanks. It's a good thing we got a lot of snacks. The animal I saw looked hungry. Really? Who was she? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? He was black and furry all over. A little wobbly, too. So I think he was still practicing using those big, round paws of his. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh, God's God. Oh, God's God. Animal. He had a black nose, a lot like mine. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? A black and furry big pod wobbler. Do you know who he is? So let's see. The mystery animal is furry. Yeah, furry and, uh... And he has a black round body. Small ears and a stubby tail. Zabu's talking about... Oh, Mongo Zika, the mystery animal's here. Oh. A black bear cub. Mongo Zika, a baby bear. Welcome here, bear cub. Yeah, he's a cub, so he's a little shy. <laughs> coming over to say hello. This could only happen in Animal Junction. Hey, buddy, how you doing? A four-month-old cub. 
it'll take him about four more years to become a full-sized bear. And when a bear grows up, he can weigh up to 500 pounds. That's as heavy as a grand piano. He's so round and furry. I'm gonna go give him a big bear hug. Hang on a second, Zabu. You know, in the wild, you should never get too close to baby bears because their mothers are very protective and always close by. And there she is. She's close by, all right. Good mother. Oh, I think maybe the mommy bear wants us to look after the bear cub. <laughs> well, this is the place. Yeah, because Animal Junction is the only place where it's okay to get close to a bear. We'll take good care of you, baby bear. I like Bear Cub all the way from his wet bear nose to his short, stubby bear tail behind. Baby bears are a lot like human babies. They have to learn how to do things just like people do. Do you want to help us teach this cub how to do things bear style? I'll teach him how to climb. Watch this. <laughs> I usually leap and jump when I climb, but I think bear style's a little different. <laughs> Climber than me. Well, I can't climb at all. Whoa, how'd you get way up there? I love climbing bear style. See those paws? Bears have big paws and sharp claws. Bear feet are perfect for climbing. Bears can climb anywhere. Hey, I have bear feet. I'm climbing bear style too. Whoa! Human bear feet aren't as good at climbing as bear bear feet. Hey, Martin. Yes, sir. I taught him how to climb. Great, Zob. He learned it really fast. <laughs> climbing is one thing that bear cubs learn fast. Did you know that when a black bear is young, he can climb better than he can walk? Well, you should stick with me. The Crack brothers still need to learn how to climb. Well, they're not as good as us. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's nice. Ooh, bear kisses. <laughs> you really like me. Well, hey, you know what I'm going to call you? Muscles, because you're a strong climber. Great name, Zob. Muscles the Climber. Hey, Martin, remember when we were creature adventuring in bear country? Yeah, and we saw why black bear cubs are such great climbers. I remember it well. We saw two little bear cubs playing while Mom was out looking for food. But then, all of a sudden, they heard something coming through the woods. <gasps> who was it? Well, they stood on their hind legs to find out who was making the noise. Uh huh. But they couldn't see anything. So what did they do? They climbed up a tree where they knew they'd be safe. Yeah, climbing, climbing. But who was making the noise? You're never going to guess who was making the noise. Who? It was their mom. Mom? <laughs> and once the cubs saw who it was, they knew they were safe. So they climbed right down to say hi to mom. I like that. Come on over, Muscles. I've got something for you. Zob, come on down. <laughs> it's bear cub snack time. What are you going to feed him? Milk. Oh. oh, come on, Muscles. Don't be shy. He's a noisy eater. Do you hear that? <laughs> Do you want to make the sound a bear cub makes when he's drinking? Yeah. OK. His mom isn't so messy when she feeds him. Hey, come on, Zab, give me a break. I'm just filling in. I'm not a bear. <laughs> you know, a grizzly bear mom feeds her cubs about four times a day. And black bear cubs, they need a lot of food, too. How are you doing there? You getting enough? I think he's Wookie, Martin. Yep. He has a little bear belly full of milk. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, over here. Huh? Hey, what's he doing? It's foraging time. Wait for me. Come on, muscles. 
This bear cub's four months old. That's about the time when he starts to taste food and learn foraging. Foraging means looking for food, and a bear cub learns how to forage from his mom. She'll even teach him how to dig for roots, insects, and other things that are underground. See, there's some corn, there's celery. Do you like celery? I love celery. What do you got? Yeah, try the celery, it's good. So let me forage around and see if I can find anything else the bear thinks is tasty. <laughs> I think Muscles thinks I'm tasty. <laughs> How about a carrot? He's taking a taste. Carrot? But he's not ready to eat it yet. Right now, he's just taking little tastes of things to see what everything's like. There's got to be something tasty in here somewhere. Oh, no, no, don't bite on me. <laughs> Martin sock? What's a sock? We wear them, Zob. <laughs> on your head? <laughs> like this? No, on our feet. Ugh, stinky. <laughs> that looks good on you, Zabu, but that's my sock. I've been looking for my missing sock. <laughs> Don't worry. Your mom will teach you how to forage for food, not socks. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? <laughs> Oh, oh, that's nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that tickles. No, 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 no nibbling. No, no, hey, guys, no, no. let's teach mussels how to forage for catfish. Watch closely, mussels. Ah! Uh oh, I'm out of here. Martin's sock. My sock! <laughs> <laughs> Chris cut a sock, not a fish. Hey, mussels, I don't think that's how bears fish, but don't worry, your mom will teach you how to catch a fish, not a sock. <laughs> bears are natural born swimmers. Swimming is one thing they don't have to learn how to do. Bears swim doggy paddle style, and they love fooling around and wrestling in the water. Hey, mussels, you done already? Mussels is done swimming, and you know what? I feel bearish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel bearish. How about you? Bearish. I feel bearish. Whoa! Bearish. Whoa. I'm round and roly-poly. I'm a baby black bear. grumpy with the cub, so that's why the mother bear teaches her cub to stay out of his way. And that's why the cub climbed up the crow's nest. So even Muscles gives Big Bear his space. I better, too. One lemur cub coming up. Well, it's safer up here, but... Wow, are you really gonna grow up to be as big and strong as him? Well, I guess if I want to get Big Bear Muscles, I... I better work out. Okay, ready? One, two. Um, is this really how you do bear push-ups? Two. Three. Four. Five bear push-ups. I'm done. I can't do any more. No, 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 don't tickle. No, 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 that tickles my ear. Okay, 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 I'll give. Do you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like the mother bear. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> it's Mommy Bear. She came to pick up her cub. And there goes the cub. Hey, see you later, buddy. Bye, Bear Cub. She'll teach him bear stuff much better than we can. Back with Mom. That's where he belongs. Living free and in the wild. Bye, Muscles and Muscles Mom. 
Hey, look at this. He found the snack baskets we brought. I can't believe my mind. I want to eat like that big old bear. Okay, Zav. First on the bear menu, strawberries. Strawberries. Oh, these are good. Keep packing it in, Zav. Good. Keep on eating, Zav. We have to keep up with the bear. I'm glad if you like a bear. Uh, I can't eat anymore. I'm vookier than vookie. <laughs> My bear belly's busting. <laughs> Mine too. Mine three. Hey, hey, you know what? That reminds me of my buddy, Google in Zabu land. So I was leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 when I saw Google. Hello, Google. How are you? And Google said, Oh, I'm sad. My Google belly's empty. And I can't find any Google berries to fill it anywhere. I know where some Google berries are. Follow me. So I led Google to a Google berry patch. Oh, coming. <gasps> See? <gasps> Google berries. Google was so happy, he started singing. Oh, 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 Google berries. Google berries. I love to gobble Google berries. Google berries, Google berries. They fill my Google, Google gobbled belly. so many Google berries that his Google belly grew big and round. I said, your belly is full now, Google. And he said, no, we can take a long, long nap. And we did. And Google slept through the whole winter. The end. <laughs> Great story, Zob. I have to try Goobleberry. Well, you have to go to Zabu land to get them. Look, the big bear's still eating. How come bears eat so much? Winter's coming soon. And a bear sleeps through the whole winter. Since they don't eat again until after the snow melts, bears have to fill their bellies now. For a bear, a full belly means it's time to take a long, Oh, no. What Google? A full bear belly sure makes you sleepy, doesn't it, Martin? Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, a full bear belly sure makes you sleepy, doesn't it, Chris? Chris? <laughs> well, trust me. A full bear belly makes you uh, very sleepy. Um, yeah. huh? <gasps> Whoa! Incoming! Hey! Duck! <laughs> you didn't duck fast enough, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a duck, it's Moonface. The barn owl. Yeah, hey, Moonface, we ate like bears. Hey, let's see what Jack is up to. Guys, my parents and I are camping in bear country. The number one rule with bears is give bears their space. I love bears, but the best way to see a bear is with binoculars from the car. Look! A big black bear. Remember, give bears their space. Jackie really knows how to act around bears. The bear's finished filling his belly. He's heading out. He must be going to find a place to sleep for the winter. You want to help him? Yeah. Great. Sounds like a trip to me. Woo! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Martin, he's going this way. Now, where can this bear sleep? Hmm. Hey, our bear could sleep here. Yeah, bears like to sleep in caves and rock crevices just like this. Just like lots of other animals, like a cougar, a porcupine, or a fox. A red fox. Now, a red fox's home is called a den. He'll pick a hollow log or cave to live in. It looks like this place is already taken. Let's move on.
Hey, look, there's another bear. I wonder what's gonna happen. Let's watch. They're wrestling, and it looks like they're having fun. <laughs> 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 Bear wrestling's fun. <laughs> Back to the search. Hey, how about that log over there? That might work. Look, he's checking it out. He's going in. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it. All right. It looks like the bear finally found a good place to sleep. Yeah, and now that he's got a full belly, he's ready for his winter sleep. Sleep well, bear. <laughs> Whoa, am I tired? Yeah, that bear had the right idea. Winter sleep. Hey, where's Albert? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe he jumped out for a while. Well, he'll be back. <laughs> Just wait for him right here. are one of the greatest sniffers around. And these little sniffers are sometimes called nose bears. Nose bears, yeah! Well, they have long noses, but wait a second. They don't look anything like bears. Exactly, Zob. That's because coatis are coatis, not bears. <laughs> but they climb like bears all over me. Hey, look. What? what? That coati nose found someone else. Let's see who it is. A kinkajou. Kinkajous are sometimes called honey bears. Of course, another bear. She's furry with a long tail. Wait a second. She doesn't look like a bear either. You're right, Zob. A kinkajou's a kinkajou, not a bear. Sometimes people call them honey bears because they like to eat honey. Hmm. Over here! A kinkajou has a long tongue that is great for sticking into beehives and licking out that tasty honey. Wow, look at him go. He really does have a long tongue. Hey, Martin, what other bears aren't really bears? Well, you have wolverines who are sometimes called devil bears, but wolverines are really giant weasels. And a wolverine is so strong, she can drag up to five times her body weight. That would be like me dragging Martin. socks, they're everywhere. Hey guys, a story just dropped into my head from Sabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, when I heard Narchi and Goobal talking. Goobal? We're taking a long nap. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Narchi. Hi, Zabu. Hi, Goobal, how was your long, long nap? Oh, great, Zabu. Goobal, are you a bear? Well, I don't think so. Because you love oh. to eat berries so much, and you take long naps, too. Oh, but Sabu, those aren't just any berries. They're oh, oh, goobal berries. And only goobles oh, oh, gobble goobal bear. I guess you're right, goobal. You do some bear things, but you're a goobal, not a bear. Besides, I can't climb at all. I need Wiggy to help me. Oh, help! Oh, help! Hey, why don't we climb up Mount Sabumafu oh. to see Snow Lemur? <laughs> So Wiggy, Goobal, and I went all the way up Mount Sabumafu. <laughs> Hello, climbers. We made it! <laughs> you know, Goobal does sound a lot like a bear. Except I'd never heard of a Goobal before. Me neither. Well, you guys need to come to Zabu Land sometime. Martin, your sock! Oh, no! Hey! Come back! Shh! You'll wake the Kinkajou up. Thanks, Zob. But at least I know who's been taking my socks. 
Today was a very great day. I like playing with my pal Muscles, the bear. Yeah, and I love being woken up by the quaddies. Yeah. I liked finding the big black bear a place to sleep for the winter. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his fine big behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. See you later, Zabu. Keep on leaping. All right, so the bear cleaned us out. Now we're gonna have to start all over and get more snacks. We better bring some warm clothes, too. Winter's coming on fast. See you next time. My name's Samantha, and this is my dog, Bear. <laughs>